I have a habit. I wake up every day and paint. And um, the one thing that, I, that has been luxury for me and, and out of all my years in prison is the fact that I can paint in there all day long, every day, not worry about making a living so I can eat, not worry about paying my rent, nah, -uh. not worrying about anything. I can paint all day, 24 seven if I want. And so I devoted my life to it. And I not just got, I became superior at what I do. And I learned a million tricks, tricks. I mean, I can get to the point very quick with paint. <laughs> I'm not bragging, just saying that I didn't waste my time in prison years in I was listening to all just sitting there in my cellar in the morning mixing paint and hearing all the chatter and everything out on the tier and it just dawned on me it just came into my head uh, I, I don't think I like it here anymore I don't think I want to be here um, this isn't even fun any, and I, I don't identify with this group I made my mind up right then um, but I had to argue with myself big time it went like this, dude, what makes you think you can get out of prison? And I thought, what, I mean, really, I thought, what does make me think I can? Because I'm going to try. Because I made my mind up, no matter what, I'm going to try. I'm not going to try to escape, but I'm going to try to get out. Uh, and so, one part of me said, you're a fool, you, they'll never, it's ridiculous, don't ever do it. You're wasting your time, don't even think about that, paint your pictures, do what you do. Another part of me said, man, you can do this. You live in America. Anything is possible in this country. I'm just going to bring them, bring, uh, bring it to the public's attention that this is the bogus law. It's a straight bogus law. You know it is. I know it is. And I should not be here. Why? Because I'm not evil. I'm not evil. And I gave you 17 years already for unarmed bank robbery. Are you kidding? You can let me go by now. I mean, I think I paid my bill. So I'm writing to everyone. Anyone that would listen, I'm writing to politicians. I'm writing to uh, people in Olympia. I had a big list of them. Senators and uh, 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 congressmen. And my main target was Dan Satterberg. Dan Satterberg is a prosecuting attorney in King County. He was absolutely my, uh, my, my target because I fell out of King County and out of his office with three strikes. My attitude when I'm writing is never repeat yourself. I didn't repeat myself. I had so much against this law and his, the whole trip and the way it was a cop-out. In, in my book, a cop-out. Okay, this is your answer to social issues. What do you think? I'm a baseball game? You can strike me out. I'm a human being. You can't strike a human being out, right? I'm phenomenal. And so is everybody else. But you're going to exile me to the moon? And I'll say in all this stuff, right? Now, all my friends are saying, you're wasting your time. You're stupid. You, you know... You, uh, you're, you're, you're slipping. One day, I get a letter in the mail. Like, remember, bear in mind, I, uh, I saturated the office of uh, Dan Satterberg with letters. So I get a letter and it went just like this. Dear Mr. Thomas, during the course of the three strike reform meeting this morning, Dan Satterberg handed me a handful of letters that you had written him during the past year. And I tend to agree with you. Do you need an attorney? I said, yeah, I need an attorney, I do. And so three days after he got that letter, he arranged it with a prison to come in. And he, they give us this little teeny room, no windows in it. It was hot in that room, I remember, but I didn't care, I, I really didn't. I was so thankful someone would hear me right now. So together we decided we're really gonna commit our, you know, our attention to it and dedicate our time to it and go for it. Uh, irregardless of the problems. So the one very big problem was my drug problem, you know, write-ups in prison, and we had to overcome that because we knew they would, that would be an obstacle that would preclude me from prevailing. So we just, uh, you know, we decided that we would own it. Instead, they can't attack me, I'm gonna bring it up. We are not asking you to let me go free. I'm asking you to put me in a drug house where I can fix my problems and be a real person again. I mean, I need attention. I want the professional treatment. I've never had it before. I want professional treatment and that will give me tools to cope with the world. Uh, Angela Grout came to the clemency hearing and gave um, just a home run presentation and convinced the clemency board, convinced them that they were going to accept me. 
And guess what? I got a unanimous vote in favor of recommending to the governor to let me go. So I got a release date, um, December 21st, 2017.